What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerf here. And we are doing some competitive scrolls again. Actually playing a bit of a tournament. This is a YOLO aggressive decay deck. Um, okay starting hand, but I really want to play a 2-drop and stuff. I do have a 2-drop here. So the uh, this is called the Scrolls... What is it called? The Scrolls Casual League Season 1. It was uh, organized... By a few of the old uh, scrollgers like WBMC. Here, he's playing Decay also. Do I Languid? I'm going to Soul Steal that turn three. So I don't really want to. If I play this Corpse Strider, he's just going to move down. I'll play the Corpse Strider. Then he'll move down and I'll Soul Steal him next turn. Hopefully, he doesn't have a Soul Steal for the Corpse Strider. But he very well might. He might be playing very similar decks here, so could be down to the draw. So this is a best of three. It's kind of a round robin type of thing. Okay, we're not playing the same deck. He has looks like more of a mid range to late game one. But the fact that he has Elmire Trison. Okay, we're gonna soul steal. Bank on the fact that he's not gonna play a two health or less unit that soon. Okay, and I'll just keep him separated. Who knows what what he could have up his sleeve? So 16 people are in this uh, league of sorts. And it's broken into uh, the first round is split up into people in four groups, and so a blight seed. I wish I had a way to kill him right now to stop him from ramping up, but I don't think I can. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put down a conduit. It's probably gonna give him some trouble, and I will deal damage here. And I'll put the Meyer Shambler right in the middle so that. The Meyer Shambler can get to anywhere on the board. But now Mongoose, he can put down a Witch Doctor if he has one. Since the Blight Seed I wasn't able to destroy. Next turn I can always Ling with this. But I really want to get some creatures on the board. So Halls of Omlasa or a Witch Doctor is what I'm expecting here. Or, or that. Okay. Okay, that's a pretty good top deck. I'm going to get rid of the Languid. I think it's a great card, um, but when you have to get rid of something to play an Urva on turn 5, that's what you gotta do with Undead YOLO Decay. So I'll, I, I won't, even though I want to do a lot of idle damage with this deck, I would rather kill his units before Witch Doctor's out here or something. So this is definitely going to deal 2 damage. Is there a way I can kill both? If this thing... No, there's no way I can kill both. I am going to... I'll try, I guess. I put yeah I'm just gonna do idle damage I'll kill that and then I'll do idle damage I was considering trying to have a chance at dealing two damage to the oblivion seeker I don't think that's a huge deal that is a creature that he's fine with dying after all Ilmer hunter I haven't seen one of these guys in a long time really uh really screwed that languid but I don't have one of those now. Unfortunately, I'll have to sacrifice a Restless Bones here. Could just play it and be able to maybe? No, I wouldn't clear his board. Okay, perfect. The question is, which do I languid now? Now, this thing would be absolutely a 4 health dead creature if I languid that. This is probably going to die soon anyways. I'm going to languid. Languid the Hunter, yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to play the Rot Eater. It might be weird that I'm just leaving my Rot Eater open like this and I'm letting him deal damage to my Urva, but it's not like we're playing Order, it's not like we're playing Energy, it's not like um, he's able to deal uh, or increase that, that guy's attack very easily. Decay. I mean, it, w it would help him if he deals damage to one of these two guys, then they're, then they're in Soul Steel slash Brain Lice range. But I don't want anything to die. And for that reason, I think I'm going to keep the second Urva instead of this Revenant. Revenant's good with comboing with uh, Restless Bones, but. Okay, so is there a way I can kill this Harvester? So I'm going to deal four. If I can get. Yeah, I think I can kill the, har the Harvester. Um, the question is how. So you're going to deal 2 damage and then you'll deal another 2. 
from this. So how can I get the Meyer Shambler to attack on this row? Um, is this only when it deals damage? Okay. Um, I think my best bet is moving up here and then having a two thirds chance at, at killing it. And then I'm going to put a harvester over here. Just to slowly. Okay, two thirds chance. There we go. Not sure if that was the best way to do it, but it worked out. I have a 67% chance of me clearing that board. Would I have been able to do idle damage if I did it the other way around? I may have been able to deal idle damage that way. Okay, we're pretty ahead here. Pillar of Fatigue. That's interesting. Uh, there's, what's the combo with this guy again? There's like a... Yeah, okay. He can... I have to get rid of that thing. <laughs> He'll draw a lot of scrolls. If I don't get rid of what's going on here. Who's watching? Pope and Bowler, okay. Um, I'll get rid of the Wicked Being. Not like I need it immediately right now. And in case that Urbis dies, I want that. And I want to be able to play something this turn. Okay. I'm just going to have to fill the board, I think. Just going to have to fill the board. Do I want to play the Flesh Animator or the... I think I'm going to play the Flesh Animator. Because at least if things are not dying then, the uh, Harvester will count down every now and then. So Decay has a very hard time dealing with structures, so I'm going to have a very hard time dealing with this. Okay, there's the soul still in that, very expected. With the Pillar of Fatigue, I'll have an opportunity to keep the Revenant alive, maybe for a turn. It has ward, right? Yeah, so it's not like it's going to do much to it. Um, let's go ahead and sacrifice one of the Rot Eaters. Hmm, do I just kill it? I think I just kill it. Let's just play the... Play the Urva and see what happens. I wish I could put the... I wish I could put the Rot Eater next to... that Revenant, but I can't really move my units, because I want, I want them to keep attacking and deal idle damage. That's how I'll win this game rather quickly. He's, he's definitely ahead of me in cards and resources with this combo of his. Okay, well, the Harvester is going to attack next turn. Probably should put it on this row with the Pillar Fatigue, but oh well. If I had a Soul Steal or something, it'd be good. Because then I can move the Harvester down and Soul Steal. One thing I do like, it's kind of hard for Decay to clear my board. It's not like I have to be afraid of, you know, mangonels, arbalisters, thunder surges, quakes. Decay kind of has to fill up the board, play Necrogeddon, so I'm not too scared here. Okay. Witch Doctor and a Ripper. Okay, filling it up. Let's see. Restless Bones. Okay, I could move some stuff around now. I may have close to lethal, but I'm a little, I don't want to risk it. I'd rather clear his board first. Because um, Restless Bones is going to allow me to move. Move, move this harvester. I think I'm going to restless bones. Um, oh, I can move this next turn so it counts on again. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be a infected husk, restless bones. So I'm going to move this down, and then I'm going to. Move this because I don't want it to attack yet. Then I'm going to move. Uh, I want this to move in front of the harvester, I think. Okay. Alright, I'm supposed to play the husk instead of the darkling, whatever. Restless bones. And let's deal damage over here. Okay. How's this going to work? Is this going to finish that row? I think so. Cool. That's the power of Urba. Wow. Took up the idol. Okay. 
That's uh, pretty much the game. I may have had lethal. When the Harvester attacks with Relentless, the Herba deals a lot of damage really fast. So the Regeniture is a little backup in addition to the Little Darkling. If he plays a unit on this bottom row, I can just move the Darkling up and then Regeniture on his unit to deal one damage to the idol. So I think game one is going to go to me. It's the best of three. I'm not eliminated from the tournament if I lose. It's simply a... Uh, it's kind of a round robin in the group of four people. There's four groups of four. And whoever has the best record in round robin moves on to the next round. So only one person from my group of four will move on. Okay, let's see if we can get lethal. Probably can. We might already have it. Okay, so if I regeneration there. Do I have it? Um, yeah, I think I, all I have to do is just make this. Um, yeah, I do. What, what am I talking about? I have easy lethal. GG. Okay, guess we'll play again. And we're allowed to change our deck any game. So, starting game two. This time I'm going to go with some ranged energy. We're going to see if he changes the deck or not. He goes to energy also. Okay, so we have an energy versus energy fight here. Do I want to keep this starting hand? I get to go two drop, three drop, four drop. So it's tempting. I think I should keep it. Yeah. I'm going to get rid of the early early Oculus Cannon. Mm. Come on, I wish I had burns in my hand, though. I'm going to risk it. That's <laughs> Those are burns, okay. I don't need two Fulmination Conduits. Ask and you shall receive. Now, I'm not going to have the perfect... I mean, I guess I'll go two drop, three drop, burn, burn. Okay. Piercing projectile. Okay, overdrive for the combo with what's it called? Um, Oculus Cannon. I just edited this deck and added these Fulmination Conduits. I feel like I need another turn three play. But now that I realize that the Hired Smugglers won't only get Oculus Cannons, it kind of sucks. Um, do I play another Hired Smuggler or do I play a Fulmination Conduit? Does he have a Bombard next turn? That's the question. I'm going to go ahead and Fulmination Conduit. Wait, so this thing has piercing. So when Dustman does damage to a creature, uh, this is going to die if he bombards anyways. So I don't need to really protect it at all right now. I'm just going to play the Conduit up top. And I kind of just want to hit the idle and draw a card rather than dealing damage. I guess I should have moved up in case I burn with the cannon I want to just kill the Dustman too. So, this thing's probably not going to go anywhere for a while. It's 4 health, it's not like it's going to be burned. So here, I could see him, oh he didn't burn, he goes for scrolls, interesting. Okay, he's just going to take it out. Fine. And now it's burn time. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get rid of actually the Bombard, I don't think I'm going to need it yet. I'd rather have a... I'm actually going to play the Hired Marksman right now, that's why. Whenever Dustar does damage to a creature, three health allows that creature is destroyed. That means I can move him there. I was just wondering if I should put him on the top row just to make sure he's out of the. I mean, if he really plays a bombard again, I wouldn't really be too mad. It's kind of a waste of a bombard. But just want to separate my creatures just in case. Thunder Surge and that stuff. I and mean, it's only third turn. Only three resources. But it's power surges, all that stuff. Okay, so next turn, I will most likely be burning the Dust Runner. I'm glad that all my stuff is out of burn range. Okay. So, pretty clear burn. Machinated is interesting. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to go for resources. And I'll just move this guy up. So, I can definitely get a lot of resources in one turn pretty easily. So, if I can top deck some kind of combo play, that will be good. Another hired smuggler. Piercing projectile on that. Okay, I guess I'm gonna burn that one now. Um, let's just go ahead and burn it. Don't want him drawing a scroll. Potion of resistance. Nah, I'd rather have the storm runner bombard play if necessary. I'll go for scrolls this time though. Well, that's a lot of stuff we got going on there. 
So I've got to be a little wary of uh, I'm just dealing damage to Eagles, but I think we're fine. Um, this is surviving until next turn unless he has a potency burst right now. Which he sacrificed her scrolls, so now it's surviving unless I see a double spark or something. Okay. Boom Reaver and Canada. Alright, he's out of scrolls, so I kind of like where we are right now. Stone Enigma can just, I just kind of have it here just in case I face a deck with Lingering. But right now, I'm going to sacrifice for scrolls because I have this Fulmination Condo, I can play any big thing. And I'm ahead so much in scrolls. Okay, so I'm going to use the Marksman attack. I'm actually going to kill this because I don't want him to draw a scroll. And then I'm going to play a hard marksman down here. I'm actually just gonna play it up here. Yeah, I don't. These two attack uh, cannonadas are not that threatening to the idols yet. And he only has two scrolls and four resources, so I think I can afford to just stay at top. I don't want to just like sacrifice a creature on the bottom. These guys will be able to blow things up soon. Echo Matan. I want to keep the storm runner in case I do a double storm runner bombard play. Potion resistance might be good. I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, do I need both machinateds? I don't think I need both machinateds. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, I'm gonna play an Echo Maton Potion of Resistance. He can, I guess, destroy an idol. Okay. Not that the Echomaton's gonna withstand that much damage. Maybe I should have just left the Echomaton with that potion and so let him burn it. it. Would give me an extra resource. This this conduit's getting big. Whenever I top deck a bombard or something, things are happening. <laughs> uh, okay, potency burst. That's pretty good. I think I'm gonna use that to get rid of something. Um, if I sacrifice for. I'm gonna sacrifice your resources now. Sacrifice your resources, play the cannon, and then potency burst the hired smuggler. So he doesn't draw anything. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna move this down. I'm gonna kind of sacrifice some stuff here. I'm gonna put down some units. I'm gonna leave middle idle open because I'd rather him. Uh, Take down middle idol, considering this assault battery is here anyways. This middle idol, idol is kind of a goner. And this Canada has piercing, so if he has a machinated, he can just break through the Echomaton anyways. So I'm gonna move down. Starting to get a little worried about these idols. He could have some weird corrode play. What's going on there? Okay, he's just gonna make sure he can take that out. Okay. He's out of cards again. Thea. Thea, Thea, Thea. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the... It's tough. What do I want to get rid of? I might just play the Thea. Yeah, I'm just. I'm not going to try to top take a Bombard. I'm just going to play the Thea. <laughs> That's going to be a thing he has to deal with immediately. And he can't even mount Dispersal or Potency Burst it next turn because he has no resources to do that. And I can easily take out the scary guys. Hired Marksman MVPs right here, hiding at the top of the board. <laughs> Cover my idols a little bit. So... Not out of the woods, but I think I have a control of this game now. A little scary in the beginning. Interesting, why would he put that there? Okay, let's go for scrolls. Give me a bombard. Nope, I'm going to potency burst this just in case. I will put down a storm runner potency burst. Move this back just so I don't connect my creatures. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure why this Oculus Cannon went here. So, assuming this Thea is going to survive, good things are going to start happening for me. I didn't really need this <laughs> Fulmination Conduit. Alright, this row might just still be toast. Um, it's machinated. I'm just going to play the Power Trip. 
Yes, I can. I can, deal, I can do so much things in my turn. Um, machinated. I need to have 10. How do I kill this? Well, double machinated do it. Machinated would give you 12, then we'll go 5, and then 2. Double machinated would give 17. 17, that would give 8, and then 4. I think double machinated is the move. <laughs> Goodbye, Ophiel's Cannon. Okay, so machinated is 12. Machinated 17, right? 17, and then it would go 8, and then it would go 4. Jesus. <laughs> what a. What a. What a card. Alright, we're, we're kind of Thunder Searchable there, but I think we're okay. That might be the biggest machinated thing I've ever seen. I kind of regret that already though, because this isn't gonna, this is not going to attack again until round 21. It's kind of just a wall now. I forgot this doubles the base count doesn't add too. So this uh, may never attack again. <laughs> Served its purpose though. Now it's just a giant wall. Burn on the storm runner because he can't do much else. I have 10 resources now, but there's nothing to play. Do I power trip and just see what I get? I think I will. Give me another Thea so I can get rid of that one. <laughs> okay. Let's just start dealing some idle damage, I guess. Let us use this as a wall for the idle. Um, put this up here for now. And put a cannon down just because. That's such a cool animation where they just shoot. You don't get to see it much because they're usually using their marksman attack when possible. Okay, so he's going to position up there. Ophiel's Cannon Overdrive is a good play. Going to go for Scrolls, though. There's Bombard. I want to save that for... Should I just do it now? A Bombard? Just in case? I think I'll just do a Bombard just in case. I don't want to want to risk anything, right? Actually, I couldn't even do anything with that. I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll play uh, play the Storm Runner and nothing else. It's fine. He's not going to win next turn. Next turn, I can do a big bombard play. There's his burns coming out. Overdrive. That's fine. Akamaton, I'll get rid of that now. Sudden Eruption. I think I like the Sudden Eruption here. Oh no, then this wouldn't attack. Okay, I think I'm going to use one of the Bombards. Do I connect to make it all to make it all happen? Um, maybe that's a bad idea. Let's just go ahead and Bombard. I'm not going to use an Oculus Cannon and do it. I'm just going to do it like this. I won't have this hard marksman attack. Okay. Cool. Doesn't matter the order there. And draw me another conduit. Turns out I could actually make the attack next turn. So I probably have lethal soon. Pretty interesting. I was aggressive decks both of these games but he's holding on do I have lethal? maybe I don't know um, let's just let's do it let's do a bombard play so yeah I don't think I have lethal Actually, I might. Do I have lethal if I... I have a limited resource, basically, with this, so... I can destroy a one out of Thea. I can destroy... Use Oculus Cannon, Dust Run... So, this is destroy with Thea. Then I have Oculus Cannon for four, Hire Smuggler for two. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. I'm, I'm positioned too weird. Oh, well. Okay, let's just bombard anyways. Um... I don't know what I'm doing. I'll save that actually. I'm gonna just bombard. Save some energy. Okay. So much energy I don't need to use. 
Well, now, since we used that bombard, and I think we sacrificed our third one. We used two, sacrificed one. Won't be drawing another one of those, I don't think. So just gonna have to naturally let our creatures attack. Okay, I can do double Oculus Cannon Overdrives though. I'll save that for next turn. Go ahead and burn. There's a new Thea. Could always do that. Uh, get rid of that. I don't know what to do. I'm just literally gonna play this because I have so many resources. <laughs> Okay, double Oculus Cannon Overdrive will deal 8 damage. Ah, that was, that was going to be the guy that lets me win the game next turn. Looks like I'll have to wait. Power Trap, let's just draw a card. Dust Runner, more cards please. Okay, let's just put down a new Thea because this Thea is going to take ages to attack. And then I'll have 4 left. And I'm going to break this thing now. And now I'll have 21 resources. Now I will play this. I'll play this. And I'll play the sudden eruption. The combos. Who knew I'd want to be kill my other Thea to speed this up? Now the problem with this deck is it's good at controlling the board, but it's not the best after you control and your opponent really can't really come back. Like, I just kind of have to go through the motions here. Not much else to do. Because once those bombards are gone, you can't do that much idle damage. And most of the units don't deal that much damage either. Unless you've got the really buffed up Echomaton or the Tempest Reaver is going to attack. And there's the, uh, of course. Thea is really the only huge drop though. I removed the uh, Ironclad Reavers from this deck. Okay, I have more energy. And next turn, should have lethal. I think I have lethal. Okay, so let's go with the Oculus Cannon Overdrive. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. GG. I guess I didn't need to do that in a while. Alright, well, uh, that's a 2-0 victory for me against Cyber Mongoose. Uh, I'll put a, a link in the description for the tournament page. You can, you guys can all see that. And I'll try to record all my games from this. Um, so we got games against Blinky and Wyler coming up. So thanks for watching, guys.